How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now today it's Friday again which means it's time for another tech news video where I go over all of the tech news that happened in the previous week. Uh, now in these videos, just to clarify, I don't go over everything in depth because that would just take way too long. So I do leave all of the articles linked in the video description so you can just follow that if you want to learn out a bit more. But with all of that being said, let's jump into the tech news right after this. Do you live in South Africa and want to get the best deals on all the latest gaming products? Well, Rebeltech is the best place to check out. They have a huge variety of peripherals, PC components, laptops, and just everything else you would need. And also from all your favorite brands like Gigabyte, Asus, Corsair, and many more. So go check out rebeltech.crza to get the products you're looking for at a low price. Okay, so starting off, we have a GTC just ended where NVIDIA did announce a lot of new products. Uh, we were actually excited because there were rumors that they were going to announce the new uh, GTX 2000 series or the new GeForce range. But that didn't really happen because I mainly focus on the higher end markets at a GTC like Quadros and Teslas. But they did announce some a new Quadro and a new super high end supercomputer. So taking a look at the Quadro first, it is the Quadro GV100 and it has a massive 32 gigabytes of HBM2 memory. It also has 5,120 CUDA cores and it has a tensor pro performance of 118.5 teraflops per second. So that thing is a beast. Now, along with that, you are going to get a beast of a price tag because it's going for $9,000. So that is quite, quite expensive. And uh, I don't think I will get one. I'll, I'll wait for the next one. <laughs> but uh, also, this is only limited to five per client. So if you just had a massive amount of money just lying around, uh, you're unfortunately only limited to five. So I'm, I'm sorry for you. But luckily, NVIDIA did also announce their a new supercomputer, which is uh, the DGX2, which is, if you guys remember, it, we talked about that Star Wars rendering uh, with that uh, ray tracing technology from NVIDIA, where they used the DGX1 uh, to actually process that entire thing. Now the GTX2 is out and it, it's 10 times faster than the normal one. So this thing has a massive two petaflops of power. It has a 16 stacked Volta GPUs. It has eight EDR 100 gigabit ethernet connections, which you are going to need. It has also two Xeon Platinum 56 core CPUs, 1.5 terabytes of memory, 30 terabytes of NVMe SSD storage. And then also it has a nice price tag of four hundred thousand dollars so yeah that is uh, forget about the nine grand this one is the one you're looking for and I'll, I'll wait a few months before i buy this one as well but if you guys do have four hundred thousand dollars then go right ahead this one is waiting for you <laughs> Now, if you do compare uh, this new DGX2 to, to some of the other servers out there currently, uh, some of the servers out there cost around $3 million and it has 300 dual CPUs uh, consuming about 180 kilowatts of power. This new GDX is a eighth of the current cost of that $3 million server. It's also 60th of uh, the space it actually takes up. And then also it is the 18th of uh, the power it actually used. So that is quite a nice bargain you could go for, but again, yeah, it is quite expensive at $400,000. So yeah, but the main question of course is with this beastly system, uh, is it able to run a crisis on high settings? And I think it might just be able to play at about 30 FPS or so, but otherwise, uh, most of the other systems out there, that Quadro, I don't, I don't really think so. Now that is all of the news from a NVIDIA side from a GTC, uh, but we do also have some uh, new rumors from uh, SK Hynix and Gamers Nexus, where Gamer Nexus talked to uh, SK Hynix about their new GDDR6 memory. And they said that they're, they are going into a mass production in three months. And that is also kind of around the time that uh, NVIDIA usually announces uh, their new uh, GeForce range. 
and also apparently this new GeForce range is not going to be the 2000 series it's going to be the 11 series so we thought it's going to be like the 2080 but now it's going to be the 1180 uh, so we do have a clear clarification on that so in about three months we are going to get these new cards and they're coming out in an 8 gig and a 16 gig model both for the uh, 1180 and the 1170. Now we're not exactly sure when they are releasing the new uh, GeForce range. It's somewhere going to be in June or July. Uh, perhaps they're going to announce something at Computex 2018. We're not exactly sure yet, but they did have uh, the 1080 uh, before launch at Computex. So we could potentially see that there. Now moving on to some crypto mining news. And a lot of you guys will be happy about this because this is also going to help out the entire GPU uh, market fiasco where we're not really seeing stock of GPUs. It is getting better, but prices are still relatively high uh, compared to what it should have been. But now luckily what is going to help out with that is that a bit main, which is uh, one of the biggest ASIC uh, miner manufacturers is bringing out a new proof of work ASIC miner that is going to be capable of mining Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies. So if you guys already know ASIC miners compared to normal GPU miners, the ASIC miners will destroy GPUs. Uh, that's why we can't really mine a Bitcoins anymore or Litecoins with normal hardware. We have to use ASIC miners because they're just so strong. So this will also in turn kind of render normal GPUs useless for mostly of that uh, main coins. There will still probably be some other coins out there that you will be able to mine, but I think this will really reduce the amount of uh, gaming hardware sold to cryptocurrency miners. And then the last topic is about something that we already covered, and that is about Ash Rocker getting into the GPU game. Now, uh, a while back, we did have rumors that they are going to produce some AMD graphics cards, and now it is confirmed that they have released all of the information about these new cards, and it is going to be the Phantom range. Now these cards are only going to be AMD cards, so they're not going to go for any NVIDIA cards, uh, but they are going to bring out uh, ranges from the RX 588 gig down to the RX 550 uh, 2 gig models. Also, the GPUs are going to come out in a dual fan design and also a single fan design. So if you do have a small system, the single fan will work nice for that. Now, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to affect the GPU market with a new manufacturer getting into the space. Uh, there's still going to be a lack of uh, GPUs from AMD side. So I don't really think it's going to impact the market that much. We're probably just going to see uh, less from one manufacturer and now more from different brands. So that's kind of about it. Uh, no word yet on how they really perform because we haven't seen any reviews out yet, but we should be seeing them quite soon. And hopefully they can perform quite well because they are performing very well with their uh, motherboards. So I am looking forward to checking Checking that out but now that's pretty much it for this week in tech it was just all our gpu freaking news yeah that's pretty much it i do hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please like share subscribe and comment like always also if you guys have any topics you want me to mention throughout the week let me know down in the comments below or on twitter facebook instagram whatever and i will mention it in the next video but now that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys and i will check all of you next time cheers guys